Hello there and welcome back. We are back in our series for people that are new to Minecraft or people who simply enjoy vanilla uh, survival Minecraft with no mods, no shaders, no texture packs, just plain vanilla raw. We got quite a bit accomplished last time. I want to apologize. I got to looking and that last video was over an hour long. That is way too long. But we did get a lot done, so that is something. Um let's see. We're going to do We are going to work on a few things this time, but primarily we are going to, uh, no, I know I had that right to start with. All right. First thing we're going to do is gather up some cobblestone. And we're going to load these furnaces with cobblestone so we can get some, we're going to smelt it so we get the smooth texture back, the, uh, the stone look that it has originally before you mine it. Then we are going to see here's some shears. We may need to make more shears. Let's make a little at least one or two more. One will probably be good enough. Where is our iron? Here it is. Do we not have any loose ingots anywhere? I suppose not. Okay. So let's get that. And let's go ahead and let's just make two more. And then we'll put this back. Okay. So, oh, we need jungle wood. I know I saw some jungle wood somewhere. That's oak. I could have swore I saw jungle wood somewhere. Are we going to have to go chop? Are we going to have to go chop, 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 chop? Nah, there's jungle wood. I thought we had some. All right. So, we're going to work on this silly tree. This tree is bugging me, and I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about this flipping tree. So, we are going to get it fixed. A few episodes back, we had a visit from a creeper. And he was quite, quite, quite rude. And messed up our tree. We are going to take care of that right now. And these vines will grow back, by the way. All right, let's get the rest of that put back in here. All right, our tree is solid again. And it's already time to go to bed. That's step one. We have a couple of steps and this little project should not take near as much time as the last one. Not even close. But that sure does look pretty. I hope I can remember, I'd like to look over that at nighttime, see how far we can see the torches. Because you can see the path winding around through there. Okay. Now, here's what we need to do. We don't need this jungle wood anymore. Let's put it back up. Alright. We don't need that dirt. Okay. We need to use these shears and we need to gather up some vines and some jungle leaves. So that's what we're going to do. You're holding down the left click button with the shears selected. Okay. 
Okay. How many vines do we have? 23? Let's get some more. Let's get these that are dangling loose. Oh, that'll grow back. gonna get we're gonna go for one stack one full stack of vines and we'll get a few stacks of the leaves but the leaves gather really fast so that's not gonna be an issue should oh there's the one that escaped us okay so there is that now let's get some jungle leaves we could use the oak leaves as well but I want to do the jungle leaves I think they're prettier I like them they have a little bit more uh, detail to them because they have the little green berry looking things in here I'm just going to get all these leaves. We might as well chop that down since we stripped it naked. All right. 53 jungle leaves. All right. Well, we want to get, I'd like to have at least a couple stacks of the jungle, so So we'll take this tree down too since we've stripped it because the leaves won't grow back no we can't do that let's go up here let's chop this down oh shoot What happens is when you use these shears on foliage, it turns it into a building block. So, you know, if you're gathering wood and you chop all the wood out of a tree, the leaves will decay on their own. However, once you use shears on those leaves, it turns them into a building block so you don't have to worry about them decaying once you've placed them. Now if you just leave them floating on the ground like that then of course they will. But if you place them like a building block they will stay. They do not have to have wood with them. Now it might look better if you use wood simply because oh yeah we, we are good okay simply because you know it just gives it a little bit more depth a little more detail that kind of thing but um, it's not necessary
Alrighty then, let's find our platform. Where is our tree? There it is. There's our tree. Now, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, these ladders are coming off of the tree. And that dirt needs to go. This dirt needs to go. All right. Where are the vines? Now, I could just wait for this to grow, but we kind of need to be able to get up there. So, I'm going to go ahead and use those. Now, for this side, we're going to leave that. Okay. Here's what we're doing. That's really as high as we need to go. For that. Okay. <coughs> there. Now, for our safety, here's what we're doing. Nope, nope, nope. Did that wrong. I need to do it in here. Okay. Oh, I should have pulled all those vines off of there. Is that dirt? Yes, it's dirt. Oh, those are our steps. Well, we may have to make some adjustments, but these leaves are going in here. Okay, let's scoot out here because we want this to go that way. Okay. Hmm. Let's ride that down. And that is way too high. We can't get to that. Okay. All right. That side is good. We need to change that. That dirt's going to bug me. I'm going to run up there and do that real quick. Good Lord, hit it too hard. Okay. Now, providing these don't decay, because I told you if we place them, they should not decay. They are building blocks now. All right, other side. All right, and we are going to start the same process here. We're going to elevate her up. With the leaves. Those shears, you really have to be careful because they tear through this pretty quick. If you're trying to be particular, it might be a little frustrating. Okay. Now, let's go sleep real quick. Let's go in night-night.
Get a little shut eye. And go finish our safety walls here. Okay, that needs. All right, let's do that. Let's stop. There we go. I'm sliding down the vines. I'm hitting shift every so often to stop myself. So I can just add to that as I go. All right, so I'm gonna stop that right there so that we have this little clearance. And we're going to make another little opening on this side. Let's bring, I believe this needs to come down to this level. Yes. Now we'll be able to walk through and access this from both sides. So this is much better. But I do want to do this as well. So let's go ahead and bring this up. Hop over here. Okay. Now we're going to do vines. Oh, and we need to eat. All right. And we're going to hit the shift again. All right, that should give us vines all the way down. So this hugs us basically. And then we can slip out here. So, not only does this give us protection from fall damage, it makes our climb, our ascent and descent both easier, smoother. It also keeps us from getting shot off of the vine from skeletons because it provides protection. So, we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's see, we want we want that to remain. That to come off. And put it nope. I want it to go on top of there is what I want. But, oh, that hurt. That hurt. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. All right. So we are going to, one, two, put that right there. That's elevator up. We may have to go get more leaves, actually. All right. Let's see if we can hop over here and then hold on. There we go. I cannot get, oh, I can probably do it from up here. Let's go up top. Oh, it's on the other side. Erga. Erga, erga. Oh, somehow I got up here. Okay. Let's build this up. I think that's what I wanted. Oh, 
Okay, so now let's place a vine right here and hopefully that'll start growing on its own. We won't have to use up all of our vines. I'm thinking we're going to need, well, we might not. We might have enough leaves. Okay. So we're going to elevate her up. because these shears cut through so fast I want to make sure that I'm able to reach everything okay there we go there we go there we go there we go and let's just do that back down see you no know, fall damage that time and up we go on this side yeah we're gonna be good all right So that one is finished. One more. We should be able to do it this way. There. Now. We have some safety going on over here. Much, much, much better. Much, much, much better. Now, we want to do some lighting, and I really don't want to just set torches everywhere, but for now, that's what we're going to do. Uh, when we get some pumpkins and are able to make some jack-o'-lanterns, we will do that. But for now, this is what we have to work with. So, I'm just going to set these around to give us some light around the base. And so that makes for a smooth ride up and down. It protects us from ranged little bony snipers. Oh, finally, finally, finally. That's been bugging me. Bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. All right. So, let's throw all this stuff in here. In here, in here. And we don't need that anymore. For now. And let's grab two more stacks of cobblestone. And we're going to throw this in here for now. Now, what happened to that coal? I could have swore we had extra coal somewhere. Oh, not much. Well, we'll toss it in there anyway. Okay, so that is complete.
That is good. That is good. That is good. Alrighty. So let's get this organized again. I can't stand it. Okay. And it is about nighttime. Let's see how our path looks as soon as it gets dark. Let the sun go down. It's so pretty. I think Minecraft is such a pretty game. I really do. Really, really, really I do. Wow, you can see those torches for a while. I don't know if it picks it up in the video or not, but I can see them. I can see hints of them all the way over to there. Just barely peeking up. We'll see if it shines, if it shows up better as soon as the sun's completely down. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty, precious. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I do, I do. All right, then. I am going to send my little avatar to bed, get a little nap. And when we come back, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Hopefully, this one didn't last an hour. <laughs> And when we come back next time, we are going to start work on our platform. Finally, this little cramped space. I mean, it has served its purpose. It has done us a good job. But it is time to grow. To grow, to grow, to grow. So I will see you next time.